Welcome back to Good Day Savannah. It's 746 right now. Well, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and the fountain at Forsyth, well, for the first time ever, it's turning pink to commemorate that. Here to tell us all about that is the man behind it, Dr. Richard Greco, owner of the Georgia Institute of Plastic Surgery. Dr. Greco, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having us, Cassidy. Tomorrow night at 5.30, we're going to help turn Forsyth Fountain pink mm -hmm. in order to bring awareness to breast cancer reconstruction as well as breast cancer survivorship. Mm -hmm. We're planning on having uh, pink lemonade by Parker's and pink ice cream by Leopold's and pink cupcakes by small cakes and we're going to have face painting and hair striping mm -hmm. and there'll be a professional photographer taking pictures of breast cancer survivors wow. and their families. In addition, we are going to be selling little pink ducks that can be floated in the uh, fountain mm -hmm. and you can write the name of the survivor uh, or breast cancer patient right on the duck and at the end we're going to take the ducks out and create artwork out of it. Wow. So we're really uh, excited to help uh, bring awareness to breast cancer reconstruction. Yeah, definitely. I mean, why, why was this so important for you to, to get, be a part of? Well, uh, our practice uh, helped start uh, the breast center uh, at Candler Hospital many years ago, and we're really one of the leading breast cancer reconstruction uh, programs in the country. We're mm -hmm. part of a, the MROC uh, NIH grant, and uh, so we really want to help women become feel whole. So knowing they have a diagnosis of breast cancer does not mean it's the end of their life and we want to help uh, celebrate the survivorship. I was going to say how important is that to survivorship because you may be clear of cancer but I would imagine uh, confidence is lost when, when you go through something like that. Right. It's a very personal thing to women to have uh, all their uh, s sexual organs mm -hmm. and feeling whole and we can help bring them back to close where they started from. Well, it's just such a great event. Let's take one more look at these little pink ducks here. These are the ones that you can uh, that you can get at Forest Side Park tomorrow when uh, when they turn the fountain pink. And like you said, put them in the fountain. Write the names of, of survivors or uh, of, of cancer victims even um, on those ducks and put them in the fountain. That's just going to be such a such a great thing. And, um, and also, um, the getting everyone on board for, throughout the city, how, how easy or difficult, was it easy to get them on board for good cause like this? It is, and plus, uh, you know, the Savannah Morning News has been working on Turn It Pink for a long time. Yeah. And so this was an extension, and there's details at turnitpink.org. Okay. And we're, we're hoping to start a Turn It Pink challenge. We're challenging people to turn things pink. We love that. Well, and hopefully it will catch on. Let's go ahead and look at the details of the event one more time. It's happening tomorrow night at Forsyth Park at 5.30 and turning the fountain pink at 6. And like Dr. Greco said, there's going to be cake, uh, ice cream, face painting, photography, so much more that just can't even be listed. It's just going to be a fantastic event and we wish you guys all the best and, uh, and turning Forsyth in the fountain pink and really kind of downtown Savannah it's going to seem like yes. turning it pink with everything you have going on. It should be very exciting. It Thank will you. be. Well, best of luck to you and we hope everything goes well. Thank you. All right, your Good Day Savannah time right now is 7.49. We're going to be right back with another look at your storm tracker forecast. Make sure to stay with us.